Hello and welcome to Just Hoops. Herbert Jones for the New Orleans Pelicans is one of the most elite defenders in basketball and one of the most versatile guys at this end of the floor also. To throw some numbers at you, again, Shea Gilgis Alexander in four games, he held him to less than eight points per game on 40% shooting. Kawhi in two games, less than seven points per game on 31.6% shooting. And LeBron James in two games, six points per game on 27.8% shooting. On top of slowing down the stars, here are other defensive numbers. He had a defensive rating of 112 and on the floor, a point differential of plus six, defensive field goal percentage of 46.3, forcing turnovers, blocking shots, and just making plays across the floor. So in this video, we're gonna dive into Herb Jones, see what he does at this end of the floor that allows him to be so special and so impactful as an individual and team defender. To start with the base, let's talk about his stance. He does a terrific job at being low in a spot where he can react, but you can see here his hands are out and active, his feet are always moving, and it allows him to stay in front and force a tough two here against Shea. Here against Portland, you can see he's in a great stance off of the stunt, upset he didn't get the turnover, but look at how he sits. His hands are out and active, his hand is up contesting a shot, his feet are always moving, and then he's also able to move his hips and slide to stay in front. We'll talk more about containing later, but the way he starts possessions is incredible. Low, athletic, able to react to whatever the offense is doing, and this also puts offensive players in a position to not go exactly where they want. He keeps his chest in front, and he does a great job at always having his hands out and feet active in a reactive way to take away the initial move and make offensive players go to their second or third option most times. Staying in front now, it all comes down to lateral quickness. Here against Jalen Green, you can see he's active in his stance, his feet are moving, his hands are swiping, being out and active, and also making the ball handler uncomfortable. But when Jalen Green tries to get downhill, he's able to slide, keep his chest and middle of his body as that primary point of contact, and not allow the blow by. Here against the Raptors, Ananobi tries to get the angle past him. Herb does a great job at staying in his stance and keeping his feet moving in front of him and always maintaining that chest as the primary point of contact against the offensive player. Here, he's going to get blown by, but we're going to see a terrific example of how to stay in a play when blown by as an individual defender. He turns his hips, sprints to his spot, beating the offensive player to that given spot, and forces a very tough contested two because he beat the offensive player to an area of the floor. And in this last clip talking about contain, we'll see him turn and sprint when he gets beat, always staying in the play and not allowing the offense to get easy looks. Next, we want to talk about contesting shots. Herb does a terrific job at contesting the point of a release. You can see here against Anthony Edwards, he jumps up vertically, contesting the point of release of the shot instead of contesting the player themselves, whether it's their eyes. He goes for the top of the release. Here against RJ Barrett, he's in rotation, but he jumps up vertically, contesting the point of release and getting a deflection on that shot. Here against Dylan Brooks, he's solid in his stance on the closeout, gets beat on the jab, but recovers and is able to contest because he goes for that release point. Rather than going for different things and lunging toward a player, he gets to the top of the shot and makes offensive players have to think about it a little bit, maybe slow down, get out of a little bit of rhythm, just because he creates a little bit of uncomfortability in your shot. And a lot of times, because of how he can test that point of release, he'll block a lot of shots. But if he doesn't have an opportunity to affect the release and contest that release point here against LeBron, you can see he gets his hand up and doesn't lunge toward LeBron. But as he shoots, he tries to block his line of sight because he's not in a spot to contest the release. And lastly, his energy and activity at this end of the floor is really what makes him special. He always sprints back tries to get in position early and make the offense have to work in the half court and once he's in the half court his hands are always moving he's making passes difficult by contesting passing lanes with his length and athleticism on drives he's very active at scraping down and having offense players fumble the ball on pickups he's very active on the dribble having hands in the pockets of the offensive player not allowing them to easily dribble the ball and move around the floor he does a great job at contesting shots like we talked about blocking shots just with his length and being in position and then also making the energy and effort plays to follow up shots and be in the area always that also applies to off the ball when he's on the help side, he's incredibly aware and active. His eyes see both his man and the ball and the action going on, puts himself in the right position, and he forces turnovers like here in the help and also puts himself in position to make plays at the rim, whether it's a block shot or a charge like we saw there. 
In terms of taking charges, he is more than willing and able to sprint to a spot, be set, and take that hit to the chest, falling down and turning the opposing team over. Just all around, all these little things add up to a winning effort at the defensive end. So what qualities does Herb Jones display that anyone can do? First, a great stance. His hands are active. His feet are always moving. He positions himself appropriately for the Pelicans defense, forcing guys baseline typically. And then in terms of containing, he has great lateral speed at beating guys to a spot laterally. But when he does get beat, he's more than willing to turn, sprint to a spot and make the play that way. He has great hand activity, can test shots without fouling, and brings a winning attitude and effort to the defensive end of the floor. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, learned something about Herb Jones and what he does as an individual defender that makes him so great. For more content like this, please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll catch you in the next one.